Let's slam it. It's 2020 and Amazon now makes pedals, uh, or effects, I guess, for your synths or whatever. And I had to try them out. As soon as my friend told me, hey, Amazon's making guitar pedals, went on there, saw some that were interesting. To me, that was mainly the delay pedal. If you're curious about this one, check this video out. And the compressor pedal. I love compressors. They sound great. It's just an instant, albeit tough, button, but good button. That, uh, man, that, geez, you see this mark? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had to check them out. So I wanted to try them out. No, Amazon is not paying for this at all whatsoever. And um, yeah, so let's kind of jump into this compressor. I got this little beat going on here. Let's see what it sounds like. So cool, whatever. Uh, one thing I thought was pretty funny was the manuals. They're not really that helpful. They're very bare bones and basics. I love reading manuals, but it does come in like, uh, oh, it only comes in three languages. Wait, so then what is in here? What is all of this? Because this is the entire English section and I got literally nothing out of it. There's 20 pages. Okay, whatever. Um, here's the compressor, Amazon Basics. This compressor is $24.99. It shows up in a beyond Amazon way where it's just like a paper bag and that's really it. This is in there, this is in some wrapped plastic and that's it. So uh, yeah, let's kind of just explore it. Right away, you don't hear anything. The level doesn't do much until you engage it, of course. Now we don't hear anything because level is turned down. So I'm trying to drive it kind of hard. You can hear that the low end is gone. And I'm not even clipping on my recorder. So careful with that. I kind of get some of the low end back if I don't run it too hot. But check this, if I go into our mixer mode here and I'll turn all this stuff down. I normally like kind of setting some decent levels with things because when the compressor's on, it really brings out uh, a lot of the quiet and pushes down a lot of the loud. So just messing around with some of this stuff here, it kind of reminds me of the SP404 where if you have it in effect limit on or off or something, you instead of getting a release time, you just get an attack time. So this is the attack sustain. So that'll work. So this is kind of how I fake sidechain. And this is also how you do it on here, actually. Let me set this to completely dry. Oops. Okay, cool. So that sounds like okay, right? If you just crank the kick through a compressor, it's gonna start pushing everything down because the compressor wants to push anything loud down and anything quiet up, so watch. We'll turn the attack even faster. Yeah, it doesn't do what I want it to do. I mean, you can kind of hear it there. You have to kind of play with it all. Like, see, that's too loud. Turn the attack up, you get some of your transients back. There's no, there's no wet dry on this at all. It's either off, which, hear how quiet that is? Or on. Level is literally just the level of the compressor. So if I were to gain match this, It's that, and now let me crank it. Forgive the noise, I'm, I just don't, here, here, I'll do this. I just wanna drive it too hard. I'm trying to like gain match it here with just headphones. Off. On. Eh. Let's change the uh, kick up. So let me go ahead and take this out. Yeah, the, the, the low end is like gone. 
again, I'm slamming the crap out of this and using it in a way that you probably would never use it. Let's actually, let me try and put it in a more usable way or usable fashion, the way that I don't use compressors. So we'll go here, turn everything up. So let me go and just clap. Okay, it's, it's okay. Forgive me for this cheesiness, but let's see what happens when I turn the compressor on. If you're down with this, I can see it working. There's just some dirtiness about it that I don't like. And I'm guessing this is a digital, let me go check. Huh, I was wrong. It's uh, fully analog. I mean, I guess it would make more sense to make it a fully analog. Fully analog compressor. Whereas this is digital, this is analog. It's okay. That's kind of cool. What happens if we do this? I'm just trying to crank it through now. Oh, that actually sounds kind of tight right there. Let's do some LFO weirdness to the sample. Is it worth, is this compressor worth the $25? Mm. I don't know. I really, I mean, it's 25 bucks. That's like going out to eat fancy food here in LA. So to cook at home once and buy yourself a compressor. Cool. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's up to you. I mean, this sounds kind of tight. It slams. And without it. Wow. 25 bucks, huh? What? Okay. Yeah. Stamp of approval. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. It's pretty cool. I mean, sounds pretty decent, especially if you're trying to get that crunchy lo-fi sound. Maybe buy two of these, which you can get for basically the price of one of these and do some dope stereo stuff. You know, save yourself a lot of money for buying some other compressory, distorty type of things. But um, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for kicking it as always. If you want to support this channel, I sell merch and stuff, sample packs down in the description below, below that like button. But um, you kicking it is more than enough. I appreciate you seeing you as I always do. And until the next one, you already know the drill, share the love, share the knowledge, knowledge is power, peace. Thank <laughs> you.